In the vast darkness of the cosmos, stars are the architects of light and life. But not all stars are created equal. Some, like our Sun, are modest in size and temperament. Others, however, push the boundaries of what physics can allow. Giants so massive they defy imagination. So how big can a star really get? The size of a star is not just a question of how much gas it can gather, but how long it can survive under the crushing force of its own gravity. The greater the mass, the more intense the fusion in its core. As a star grows, its inner furnace becomes hotter and more violent, generating vast amounts of radiation. This radiation pushes outward against gravity in what's known as radiation pressure. Eventually, a limit is reached. If the star gets too massive, this outward force becomes so strong that it can tear the star apart before it even stabilizes. That's why there's a theoretical upper limit, believed to be around 150 to 300 times the mass of our Sun. Yet the universe loves outliers. In the Tarantula Nebula, scientists discovered R136A1, a stellar behemoth with a mass once estimated to be over 250 times that of the Sun. It blazes millions of times brighter than our Sun, but lives a tragically short life. Stars of this size burn their fuel with reckless speed, living for just a few million years, mere seconds on the cosmic clock before dying in spectacular fashion. When these giants reach their end, they don't quietly fade into white dwarfs. Instead, they go out in cataclysmic supernovae or hypernovae, sometimes collapsing into black holes, sending shockwaves and star stuff across galaxies. These explosions seed the universe with the elements needed to form new stars, planets, and even life. So while there are limits to how big a star can be, the true marvel lies not just in their size, but in their dramatic, fiery lives and explosive ends. In their final breath, they give back to the universe far more than they ever consumed.